Hi, my name is Becca Hayes. I live here in Lehigh, Utah. Uh, I'm a single parent. I have two little boys, Boston and Tucker. I have no family around me. It's hard to get a babysitter when I need one. And so my kids go everywhere with me for the most part. Well, lately, my older son, Boston, he's a little bit older, a year older than Tucker. We enrolled him in, um, my ex-husband and I enrolled him in uh, the Legacy Center for basketball because he really wanted to play. And um, they've been open for a while, but for the last few couple weeks, they've been closed because of our lovely governor, Herbert. He keeps um, tightening the rope, it seems like, with because of COVID numbers. <laughs> Um, so now before it was two parents per child and obviously you bring your kids because a lot of people have to bring their kids and recently it switched to now one parent per child that's in basketball and it's my weekend with my kids so I Um, I got my son all ready for basketball, which he was so excited to play because it's been a couple weeks since, you know, he, his, he hasn't played yet. And I took him to the Legacy Center. I had my son Tucker with me, and I just recently heard about um, that we can't have other, even other siblings, their siblings with, with us, which is completely tearing the family apart, by the way. Um, churches are closed. It's just, it's getting out of control. And so I didn't find a sitter in time and nor did I want to. So I took my, my two sons, Boston that plays basketball there and my youngest son, Tucker, that's four. And we walked in and the, the lady at the front that was checking everybody that, to do the temperatures, make sure you're wearing masks and totally complying with wearing masks. My sons both had masks on, I did which I don't really care about wearing, but I'll do it if that's what we have to do to get in the building. Went in, she warned me at first. She's like, I'm just gonna let you know. I don't know if they're gonna let you have your son with you. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I pay for my son to play basketball here and I'm a single mom and I have no one else to watch him. And it's just me and my boys. So we went in. And then there was another, it's like security, like crazy. I love it. I love how it's so, oh my gosh, it's so crucial to have three people check this whole situation when we have a survival rate, a survival rate of 96.9% .9 of COVID numbers, but we have a vaccine coming out for a survival rate of 96.9%. .9 what is going on? Wake up people. We need to start standing up for what we believe in, no matter what the consequences are. And I did that today because I needed to show my kids to, we were not going to back down. And so we sat down, a lady, another checker, you know, told me I couldn't enter the basketball court because I had my youngest son Tucker with me. And I said, I'm sorry, arrest me then I'm going in. So I took my, my two sons. I walked in, I sat on the bleachers and I put my son and let him play with his team. They welcomed him and he started playing. And next I know it's that lady that checked me again and some other security dude, which actually is my neighbor. <laughs> I don't think you recognize me, but and I'm not saying anything negative about him. I know he was just doing his job, but you know, she brought in reinforcement and told me you have to leave. And I said, I'm not leaving. My son's playing basketball. I want to watch my son play basketball. I pay to put my son in this program. And she said, okay, fine, until you leave. And then, then all the, the parents behind me, which from the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> thank you for standing up for me. Um, they started yelling and chanting and saying, she's a single mom, cut her a break. <laughs> we don't care, it's not bothering anyone. They're all wearing masks, give her a break. And I don't, it's not that I want pity or anything. I just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lay down and just let people control. This will never stop if we all just let it happen. And we all just are so accepting of it. We have to fight back. And 
then she grabbed the basketball, wouldn't allow the team to play. And she said, we're not playing until she leaves. And so now it's on my head that no, none of these kids get to play. <laughs> And then the parents started going crazy. I don't even know if that program's going to exist any longer now because I know a lot of them were shouting that they're going to get their money back and they're done. And this is, this is horrible. And I know that it might be small, but it might start to change people's minds and they might start to stand up for them, for themselves and, and be that example for their kids. And I obviously felt horrible. I felt horrible because my son wanted to play so bad. <laughs> But I couldn't allow him to see mom back down and just and for him not to learn that lesson to always stand up for what you believe in. And I believe this is bullshit. This is breaking families apart. This is making people sick. Like not even I'm not talking about COVID. <laughs> Mentally, the suicide rate is higher than it's ever been. And we have to do something. We have to, we have to do something. We have to bring our independence back. And we, we, our freedom is seriously being taken out right from under our feet. And we're doing it willingly, willingly. Our governor of Utah, Governor Herbert, is being caught at numerous parties, especially the one big party where there was 200 people. And it was right after he had strict laws of, 10 people or less, and there was a, he went to a party of 200 people, got filmed, um, because it was more of a secret party, he got filmed, took his mask off, hugging everybody, not social distancing, but then he says, we have to social, social distance, we have to wear masks, we can't go here, we can't do that, but he's doing it, wake up everybody, this is, this is control, this is scaring you into control. And it's scary to fight back, and I understand, but we have to. <laughs> we have to. Please share this video, and please start standing up for what you believe in.